Welcome to the Community Services Connection Podcast, an informative podcast for those who live, work, and play in our paradise. We're covering everything from recreation and pools, libraries and history, parks and natural resources, and the UF IFAS Extension Office of Charlotte County. You're listening to the Community Services Connection podcast. Today on the podcast, we have Kevin Payen. He is a library technician here in Charlotte County out of the Port Charlotte Public Library. Kevin, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me, Brianna. So today we're talking about this awesome health fair and cookout that we have coming up through the Sunlight Mission, which is a library program. So tell me a little bit about this event. It's going to be held Saturday, March 25th. From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Is it at the library, the Port Charlotte? Yep, it's at the library in front of the Culture Center parking lot. Okay, so the Port Charlotte Public Library. It's a health fair and cookout. Where did this idea come from? So uh, this idea, I came up with the idea to help the homeless, and I just figured that all, it was part of that, I wanted to also include a health fair event, being that um, I was a former um, biology student at FGCU University. So I have um, just experience, you know, volunteering, assisting with health fair events, or helping out nonprofit organizations, and just seeing how it can help um, the community and those that specifically need these type of um, resources. So this event specifically is a community event for the homeless, the low income, and financially at risk residents in Charlotte County. And, and right now, that is many of us, that is many of our community members, especially after Hurricane Ian. According to United Interagency Council in Homelessness, uh, 4.75. Um, people experiencing homelessness in the state of Florida in 2022 is um, is what they provided. Um, and also, according to National Alliance to End Homelessness, 169 people homeless on a given night in Punta Gorda and Charlotte County in 2020 also is um, statistics that they provided. Um, and I also came across um, information from vibrant communities of um, Sh- Charlotte County. And according to them, 13 percent people living living in Charlotte County are food insecure. Um and then according to Planning Council of Southwest Florida, one in four children in Charlotte County live in poverty. Wow. This is happening right in our backyard. I'm really glad that the, the library is stepping up to put on an event like this. Is this the first event of its kind Correct. put on by the library? Um, for the library, I, I since I just what I know of, I'm not sure how long ago, but there was a health fair event, I guess, in uh, Inglewood. But um, from what I've known, um, since I've been here, there hasn't been a health fair event. So it seems like you've really taken the time to bring in some important services here in Charlotte County. How did you go about reaching out to different organizations? So, um, so actually we, my coworker and myself, we, we drove out together and we stopped by each place that I, you know, I did some research around the um, community to see what organizations were in, in this area that we can reach out to and ask if they would be willing to participate. Also made phone calls, um, emails that people recommended to reach out to this organization. And I also thought of reaching out to my former um, university, um, and a professor that, that I'm familiar with to see if there would be any students that she may know of that might want to participate in this event. Um, so being a, a former student myself, I knew that students, will, pre-medical students and health-related college students would want to be um, interested in an event like this and would want to contribute and help out and give back to the community. And it's the community that we all know and love. It's Correct. our community. Who are some of the organizations that will be on site that day? Okay, so we have about 30. Um, we have Jesus Loves You Ministry, Lighthouse Edition Services, Charlotte County Public School, Drug Free Charlotte County, Virginia B. Andes, Volunteer Community Clinic, Charlotte County Human Services, Health Planning Council of Southwest Florida, Easy Clippers Barbershop, Charlotte County Habitat for Humanity, Jersey College School of Nursing, Florida Department of Health in Charlotte County, CARE, Aetna, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, Charlotte County Homeless Coalition, Saving Our United Leaders, Charlotte Behavior Health Care, Jewish Families and Children's Services for the Sun Coast, um, of the Sun Coast, Florida Gulf Coast University School of Nursing, Florida Gulf Coast School Florida Gulf Coast University Libraries, the Salvation Army, Tybal Hospice, Alzheimer's Association, New Life in Christ Church, Competitive Insurance Solutions, Career Source Southwest Florida, Florida Medicare Group, Assurance Wireless, Alcoholics Anonymous, Short Print Health, Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte. Wow. So this is a big deal. There are some big names here that have come together to serve our community in an incredible way. I'm looking at this, Kevin, and it 
we have so much to offer this day from haircuts to dental hygiene to hygiene items to blood pressure checks, health education. What else can people expect on this day? Um, people could definitely expect to receive just valuable information um, to help them and help them better themselves um, to be in a position to be successful. Um, for example, we have say visit the ball um, providing food, clothing, um, financial assistance, information. Fortunately, we were able to. I came up with an idea to help. Um, people that don't have transportation, homeless specifically, um, Jesus Loves You Ministry and A New Life in Church Christ, um, they um, are willing to help out and um, gather people from areas of um, Inglewood, Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, and Northport to come here um, so that they can actually attend the event and receive these services. So um, some might not be able to come or um, they just are facing barriers to it come because of the um, long distance. There we go. So you've thought about every barrier to break down so that people can come to this event. Correct. That's health amazing. access. Yes, health access, um, transportation, food, um, and um, shelter. So I definitely um, received help and my supervisor, um, we worked together, and also, as I mentioned, my coworker and I, we we uh, definitely went out and and you know found the community partners, and you know I, I remained in contact with them and just asked what services, what they were willing to do, try to form partnerships, um, make sure to connect students to the community partners directly, so that they're able to you know get the confirmation that yes, they can come and help, and um, but. I would just say that definitely um, it, it's a great opportunity for everyone. It's great for those that are in need, for sure. I really think that it's going to be a great turnout. The community partners, they're, they're all excited. Um, mobile service showers will be available, free haircuts, as you mentioned earlier. Um, it's just going to be a great event. You seem very passionate about this project and this event specifically. Tell me why. Um, I think because for me, I know that giving back to the community um, just does wonders for for those that really do need it, um, and just having the experience of um, participating and volunteering um, with nonprofit organizations that just help me to see what it really can do for somebody that needs resources, needs the health um, services, um, information, and some some um, you know the groups that we spoke about, homeless, um, low income, and financially at risk residents. They might not be aware of some of the services or some of the um, organizations that are already currently here that can provide those information and services for them. So this event will give them the opportunity to be aware and to know where to go so that they can get this service so that it can, they can continue to follow up and, and make sure to um, continue to get those resources to get them back on their feet. Absolutely. And if you're listening and you know somebody, maybe a friend or a neighbor who could benefit from these services or would be interested in this event, please, please spread the word. It is going to take place Saturday, March 25th, 2023, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Port Charlotte Public Library. If anybody wanting to volunteer and just help out, um, that would be great. We'd love to have you guys. Um, and I just want to say um, thank you to our community partners, um, our sponsors, and we just, a couple of days ago, Walmart's covering all the food expenses, so they're just going to donate food to us, so that'll be, that's going to be great. Um, and thanks to um, A New Life in Christ Church for donating, and also thanks to Sam's Club for donating as well towards the event. Truly amazing. Our community relies on Charlotte County Libraries and History for much more than books. We truly are um, fully immersed in our community, which I think is just so great. March 25th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Port Charlotte Public Library Community Health Fair and Cookout event. Don't miss it. It's going to be wonderful. Kevin, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Brianna. Thanks for having me.